So I, uh, I'm staying with my mom in Florida to help uh, oversee our, our new beach house reconstruction remodel project. And um, my mom doesn't have a, a hair blow dryer, or I guess she does, but I didn't have access to it this morning. And so I'm going all natural. So my hair's a little bit, you know, crazier than usual today. But what's good about that is it saved me a lot of time this morning. And what's good about that is uh, my mom doesn't have a, um, a coffee maker. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. Uh, and so I had to drive into town about 15 minutes to go to a coffee shop uh, and get some coffee so I had the time to do that since I didn't have to blow dry my hair and as I was driving into town and back I just felt such a sweet peace joy ease you know like a flow state where just like the sweet honey current of life moving through me a feeling like yeah life is good I'm right where I'm supposed to be all is well and it feels both like a peace that passes understanding and also like a a current of of subtle excitement of knowing life is great and it's getting better um, and I think that that flow state is what everybody's ultimately after to feel that deep sense of well-being uh, in yourself and in life and I think that most people think they'll get that sense of well-being that feeling of rightness of life is good when we get life where we think it should be when we achieve all our goals then we'll feel like yeah look life is so good and and I have found that that's actually a mirage, that's a trap. It's never actually enough when it's out there that that deep sense of flow and well-being is, is accessed when we let go of our rules of what we think life and ourselves should be and instead accept and look for what's good here and now in ourselves in life and I find that the key to doing that is you have to lose the comparison you know if I was looking at my situation this morning I could be thinking gosh this bed is so springy and my bed in Austin is like a cloud ripped from the heavens um, you know, I could be thinking, God, there's no coffee here. And in Austin, I have a gorgeous man bringing me delicious hot coffee and bed. This is horse manure here. Uh, you know, I could be thinking how annoying that I don't have a hair blow dryer. And now I'm going to look a little bit ratchet today. Like the point is that you have to remove what you think it could be. It should be. You have to remove the comparison and just be here. This is where you're at. Staying at your mom's house. What's good about here and now? And then you start to see, ah, the rightness of it all. Man, the cool, crisp day, one of the first of fall, and how much you love that. And and the nitro cold brew coffee that you got that you couldn't got with your sexy man in Austin and and the extra time in the car to listen to an audiobook that's so inspiring and just blowing your mind like when you stop comparing to what you think it should be your eyes open up to see how good it is and it's like that all the time we just have to stop we have to lose our rules of what we think life should be and instead be here now and look for what's good around us right now. And then boom, you're connected, you're dialed in, flow state, magic, let it ride.